What up? What up, what up, what up? Um, this one's going to be a while. This one's going to be a while. And I'm going to call this an addendum. Yeah, let's call it that. Had to meditate on it a little bit. And I have some facts for you. Genuine facts. We'll get to that soon. Before I begin, I'd like to thank Indigo. I want to say her full YouTube name is Indigo Blues. I hope I am right. I'm not savvy enough technologically to check right now. But blessings to her. Okay? Blessings be. Thank you for shouting me out. Thank you for listening to my video. And I'm also going to say thank you to Fundi Fee. Just because I'm going to say her name a whole lot on this video, okay? And not in a bad way. Trust me. I got a lot to say and my thoughts are racing and I tried to meditate on them. And usually the best way I can go about this is chronologically. So let's jump back to where I started from. Oh, before I go there, let me just say, I have a desktop and the webcam is covered up. I am big on conspiracy theories and I don't want nobody watching me. You know, so I ain't open that thing up to sit there and, you know, hit y'all with a live. I ain't ready for that yet, okay? I ain't ready for that yet. This is good right here. This is like journaling for me. Y'all don't know me very well. I know me. And that's why I had to give y'all that disclaimer, okay? In the last video that I did. With that being said, let's jump to the video before that. Um, you might have seen me crying and feeling very strongly about things. When I made that video, I didn't watch the rest of the live. I couldn't. I was way too upset and I was trying really hard not to scream and not to yell. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And after Indigo saw the video, she gave me some feedback that I really appreciate. She gave me the courage to go ahead and watch the rest of the live. Okay? I don't have a lot of facts to speak on, but... I will speak on it because I watched the live from the beginning and I know that I jumped in uh, probably like a half hour in there. That's one. Two, I said in my last video that I sent the email to him and he didn't get back to me. I sent an email to the wrong address. I didn't have the full email address because by the time I jumped in, I did not have access to see the full email. I put in the wrong email. Um, I was doing laundry. I was in a basement. And I had a choice. I couldn't like get on email and watch and respond or whatever. He sent me a link in the last chat 
the last time when I first went on panel, first time ever, he sent the link in the live chat, not an email. So I figured I was going to get that again. We'll get back to that, okay? Get back to that in a second. But I just wanted to make that point. I did not send. I sent an email, but I sent it to the wrong address, okay? Boom. That's why I didn't get on there. But that's a good thing. Okay? Good thing. One of the things this this man talked about was New York State law. All right? And I responded to that. I responded to it via experience and not exactly by fact. When I'm done recording this video, I'm actually going to put the link in the comments so you can look for yourself. It's from factcheck.org and it's New York State law. Okay? I'm going to read part of it to you. Good. I couldn't write that much and listen at the same time to the live, okay? Here's New York State law, everybody. Please listen carefully because I'm still trying not to scream or yell. And I will admit that I did yell today watching this live. Okay, let's go. In other words, women may choose to have an abortion prior to to 24 weeks, semicolon. I'm hitting you with grammar right now because I'm a Capricorn and we like good grammar. Okay? And if anybody got good grammar and good English, it is the law. So here we go. I'm going to repeat. I'm going to start with the quotations. Okay? And three dots. In other words... Women may choose to have an abortion prior to 24 weeks, semicolon, pregnancies typically range from 38 to 42 weeks. After 24 weeks, such decisions must be made with a determination that there is an absence of fetal viability. That's in quotations. Or that the procedure is, more quotations, necessary to protect the patient's life or health. End quotes. That determination must be made by a healthcare practitioner, licensed, certified, or authorized under New York State law. Acting within his or her lawful scope of practice. End quotes. I know of a young girl that had to get an abortion. She was about 26 weeks. And if she carried the full term, both of them would have died. She was 17. All the doctors told the parents and her what the choices would be. And they decided to have that abortion. Okay? I got one more thing to read now. It was in the same factcheck.org. I'm going to read it. This one I'm going to read twice, okay? Because this was in a separate paragraph after everything, all right? Here we go. And I'm going to get close up to the mic so you can hear this one, okay? The CDC also noted that between 2006 and 2015, less than 9 percent of abortions were performed after 13 weeks.
The CDC also noted that between 2006 and 2015, less than 9% of abortions were performed after 13 weeks. Now let's hop to it. I watched most of this live. I had to cut it off. The thing was about two hours, 35 minutes, and I'm about two hours in, two hours and 10, and I had to cut it off to make this video. I had to meditate a little bit. We're gonna go chronologically now, okay? Like I said, I started from the beginning and I watched this thing and from the beginning this man came off so judgmental practically condemning all women and I searched to find the moments, even before I jumped in, to say, hmm, let me just, you know, give the benefit of the doubt, you know, maybe he's talking to a specific type of woman, okay, I'm going to keep it there, because I know I'm not that type of woman, you see, I was raised in the 80s. I was raised in NWA when they first started calling women bitches and hoes on the rap. Mm -hmm. And my response back then was, I'm not the bitch they talking about. Why would I care what they saying? I'm not the hoe they talking about. Why would I care what they saying? But I was a different Drea back then. I was a tomboy. And we can get to that another day. Forget all that. Okay? Let's, let's jump back. Let's jump back to the future. Right? To the present, I should say. The present. So, yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking for it. I'm looking. I'm looking for... You know, the, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm looking for the openness, right? In myself, not in him, in me. Like, let me give this cat the benefit of the doubt, okay? Talking about a specific person. I shouldn't feel no way. I shouldn't take it personally. Then I got to the part where I jumped in. Now, I already had reservations about this person from previous encounters with other women. I'm not going to name their names. I don't have to. If you're listening to this and you understand where I'm coming from, you already know who these women are. He already displayed a certain disdain for a woman in general that he did not know. Now, mind you, let me backtrack just a smidgen. After I did my video, I felt a lot better. And I resolved within myself that I don't hate this guy personally because I don't know him personally, you know? But for that, he's an asshole. For that, mm -mm, he won right. And for that, I can't rock with him. Nothing personal. All good. 
I just had to express it. And I was very proud of myself for expressing it without screaming or yelling because I am a screamer and a yeller. You have no idea what my real life has said about me being like this for four days. And we can get to that another day and laugh about that. <clears throat> Let's come back. Excuse me. Let's come back. Heal up, reel up, bring it, bring it back. Come rewind. I ain't got no music to put it. I'll say it myself. I. So. I get to the point where I'm like, I'm done and I leave. Okay. And now I'm watching the rest of this live. I knew at some point in time from the screenshot that Fundy Fee came into the live. I didn't know what was said at the time. I'm watching it now. And the first thing that I noticed was that as soon as she came in, Homeboy got real open. Okay? I respect the queen. I don't have a problem with Fundy Fee at all. Master Fundy Fee. No problem. None. Trust me. None. But your boy was wrong and strong throughout the whole thing up until she came in. I'm trying not to yell or scream, baby. I'm trying hard. And once Master Fundy Fee came into the chat and on the panel there to talk, she started yelling and screaming. First thing that came to my head was, do not waste that yelling and screaming on that man right there. Oh, no. Why are you doing that? But then I realized, as I sat back and watched, every single thing Master Fundy Feast said to that man was fat. But this man did his level best at first, at first, okay? At first. No matter what Master Fundy Fee said, this man did his level best to try to somehow switch her over to his point of view, even to the point of changing the subject back to a quote from Margaret Sanger, who had nothing to do with the point she was making. At that time, you had already put that quote up like four or five times already to get your agenda across. And here you go again. Watch that live. You'll understand what I'm talking about. And he did that up until the point where she called him out. Okay? You can watch it. She calls him out. No, 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 Miss Fundy. I'm not trying to be like that. Yes, you are. Why are you blaming women? Why are you condemning women? All women. I'm going back to my point. How dare you generalize abortion and generalize women? Because you said to me in your life that yes, you are gen generalizing abortion. But you couldn't say that to Master Fundy Fee when she hit you with the he, homie. No, no, no. Not the tall. Then the screaming and the yelling and the telling 
was on point. Oh, no, 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 Master Fundy Fee. It's like this. She was about to get you, homie, until you told your story. Okay? And she listened patiently to your story. Let me tell you something. For those of you who have not watched my previous videos, let me reiterate, reiterate something that I said on one of my previous videos. I'm not here to teach you shit. That is not my job, nor my function, or my purpose here. I might know a whole lot. But I sure ain't here to teach you shit. I'm here to learn. And if what I learn imparts something on you, great. If it brings you some kind of motivation, great. If it takes you somewhere where you need to be, great. But I ain't no master, no pastor, rasta, pasta. Well, I am a rasta, but I ain't no pasta. And I ain't no imposter. So don't come at me with none of that business day. And yes, I am West Indian. So forgive me if I drop in and drop out of my accent. That's me. Naturally. Let's go again. Let's, let's go back to where we at. Let's not deflect and, and trickle off. I digress. I listen patiently to the story, man. Touching story, poignant story. I get it, dude. I get it. But here what? Your story does not give you the right to be judgmental on all women. It does not give you the right to disrespect all women. And when you generalize women, okay, and you minimize who they are and what we, not they, what we go through. And only up until you deem someone respectable that you halfway come correct and you can finally communicate because you wasn't communicating before you was barking you was condemning you was being highly judgmental and what they call where I'm from wrong and strong and thank you phone defeat because when hard ears don't hear them must feel all right i ain't gonna do nothing to you i'm just gonna talk what i'm thinking and if you gonna feel from that that's on you you don't feel from it that's on you too i don't care and i did say i wasn't gonna talk about this no more but after watching the live i changed my mind which is all right too see i am an individual and all of us women should be treated as individuals. How dare you tell me as a woman that in order for me not to do X, Y, and Z, all I need to do is close my legs. Let me tell you something. For about 70% of the women out there, it was a man that told them to open them in the first place. So don't you dare come at any woman. I don't care how despicable she is. Because guess what? There are evil women. There are evil men out there. I know men that fight hard to keep the kids that they got. To get the kids that they got. Because the women that they got them with are despicable 
I respect those men. I don't hate men. I love real men. I know I love men that know how to properly communicate. I'm trying to transcend my ego. If I am not allowed to hate all men because of my situation with the narcissist I dealt with when I had to quote unquote kill my baby as far as you are concerned. <laughs> Don't make me yell and scream up in here. Don't make me yell and scream up in here. How dare you? Do not blame the rest of us for what you went through. Do not come at us wrong and strong. And yes, it is your channel. You can talk how you want. But at this point, right now, I'm talking to the women that follow you. If you want to come at me in a certain way, you don't know me from a hole in the wall. So common courtesy requires just a little bit of respect. Just a little bit. And if you are ignorant to something, at least come humbly to it. Don't wait for a master to come into the room to get humble and get vulnerable and communicate. Do that from the jump. Because if you can't do that from the jump, don't start no live until she get there. Okay? When she come on it, when she ready to jump on it, then you do the panel with her. Okay? Talk from the gate with her in it. Don't do no other live by yourself until she get up in that. Because the way you talk to women, my dude, no, 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 no. You're going to make the tomboy come out of this kid right here. Am I yelling? Am I screaming? I hope not. Master Fundy Feed did enough for me. Oh, yeah. Let me get back to one more thing because I almost forgot that. You know why everything Master Fundy Fee said rang true to me? Even when she did say, yes, I hold everybody accountable. Because she's a woman. That's one. She gets her period. Or at least she had it enough to have kids. She had kids. She got breasts. She lived the life of a woman. I respect what she say, cause she's a she. And she came respectfully and humbly. She typed her humility before she jumped on. She ain't come on there wrong and strong at first. She honored and respected the space. You see, the space does not just include the person who leads the space or to who the space belongs to. The space truly belongs to those who are in it. Okay? And if you, even though you own the space, hold the space for people who are not like you, you have to respect their space. Don't try to manipulate me to fit your agenda. I may not be a master or a teacher. I may not be here to t teach you shit. But you're going to respect me 
as a human. And I would appreciate a little bit more respect than what you give. Because you come off like you give none. You come off like the respect that you give is false. And the only grown folks that you want in your space is the grown folks that agree with you. Here's the problem with me. I was never a yes woman. Never. Ever. Okay? I say yes if I believe it. I say yes if I agree. I ain't got no problem saying no. Let me explain something to y'all about yoga real quick, okay? Because there's something that I do know, and it's yoga. You would think that the average yoga person is supposed to say yes all the time. I'm going to tell you that straight up bullshit. Yoga teaches you the power to say yes. No. And be happy with it. And you can say no with whatever feeling you want. Okay? As long as you put that feeling right back in your pocket after you done. And as long as that no is for the sole purpose of keeping your peace. Because if there's one thing in yoga you can be selfish with, it is your peace. Okay? I lost that lesson a long time ago. For a long time. And apparently I came back on these YouTube streets to find it again. And here I am. Finding it. Thank you so much, Master Fundifi. Thank you so much, Indigo. And thank you to my triggers. Thank you so much. And let's just end this by saying, I don't want no apology. I could give a rat's ass about one. And that's the God's the honest truth. You can't change who you are or how you feel. Okay? Especially if you don't want to. And I'm not asking this, this person to change. You can be wrong and strong with whoever you want. You can bully whoever you want that don't agree with what you say and how you feel because you want to play pimp daddy for a couple of minutes before Fundy Feet come on the scene. Right? Or, my girl, Unicorn Oracle. I ain't see her yet. I ain't finished the live, though. She could have came on. I respect her, too. Big up. Philly Bruja. Big up, my gal. I don't have no problems with the women in the room, no matter what their opinion is. Why? Because they women. They could tell me about abortion, baby. They could tell me how they feel, and I could respect it and agree to disagree. They could tell me. And I could say, that's a messed up woman, or that's a great woman. I can have my own determination on that. Because she's not going to judge all women. She's only going to judge herself and her experience of who she knows. And I can easily make a determination. Boop. Here we go. But you, sir? No, no, no. Even as a father. Because once again... Everyone has their equal individual experience. And each individual experience should be equally respected. I said this in Fundy Fee's chat live this morning. Respect does not have to have acceptance nor does it need force you do not need to force me to respect what you say because I don't have to agree with it to respect you but I can disrespect you and not disrespect you in terms of talking bad about you I can be 
not respecting you. Because you see, I'm the type of person where I ain't got to like you. Okay? I can respect you as a person and not like you. I do it every day at my job. Plenty of people out there just like that. But if I don't respect you as a person, I don't like you, I don't trust you, I don't nothing with you. This is not to say that, you know, this is how I feel about this particular person here. We getting close. We getting close. We getting real close. So I'm going to ask for, out of this gentleman, because I'm not going to hashtag his name or none of that. Mm -mm. I will put the title again as an addendum. That's about it. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Yep, I had to burp. I do that. I'm human. Guess what? Part two. And I still get ding a -ling. How about that? Anywho, here's what I would like for this male to do. Please apologize to every other woman that you disrespected at some point in time or another. You know who to start with. I don't have to say her name. Apologize to her because you did come into her chat wrong and strong and ignorant. You did do that. I was on your live, so I didn't see when she was on hers, but I saw after, and I ain't like that. That wasn't right. Apologize to every woman after that that you disrespected. Because you disrespected them personally. You didn't disrespect me personally. You disrespected me as a woman. Because you want to generalize something that has to do with a woman's choice. And you can blanket. Oh yeah, I hold men accountable. Ha ha ha. I hold them accountable too. No, you didn't hold them accountable enough. Once again, not until Fundy Fee came up in the room. No, no, no. Let me explain it. Let me explain it. Yeah. Keep that energy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so let's make this clear then. I'm not trying to threaten anybody. I, I don't have time for that. I, I, I don't live on these YT streets. I live on my streets. You've seen my streets. Watch my videos. You'll see my street. All my streets. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Apologize to these women, please. Is suggestion and please ensure that the next time you do any sort of live make sure Master Fumi Fee is already there ready and waiting to translate and teach you and free you from your ignorance okay before I go, I'll give you one more yoga gem. A guru in yoga is someone who dispels darkness. The darkness is ignorance. And everything that comes from it. The darkness is from your some scars, the deep rooted behavioral patterns that come from your memories and your experiences that your ego shapes into who you are that may not be, you know, on the positive side of things. We all must be balanced, but those negative parts that show ignorance a guru, that's how you pronounce it, is a guide.
Thank you, Fundi Fi, for continuing to guide this dude out of ignorance, out of the darkness. Please continue to do so. I won't be there to watch, really. But so far, what I've seen of you, you're doing a good job. Thank you. I've only been on these YouTube streets for a couple weeks. Woo, 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 this rabbit hole. This rabbit hole. This rabbit hole. My name ain't Alice. My name's Andrea, not Alice. Shri, S-H-R-E-E, -E, is the female version of Shri, S-R-I. A term in India meaning sir or mister. You know, like, hello, sir. Hello, man. The B and the A. I ain't got to give you my last name. Y'all can figure that out one day. <laughs> the B and the A. The B stands for Bhairavi. One of the 108 names of Kali. One of the 10 Mahavidyas. The 10 great wisdom goddesses. She was the tough love goddess. She was the mama goddess who will kill you if you messed with her children. One of these days I'll tell you the story of Kali and the roles of some of her different aspects and what they played in her story. Bhairavi was terrible in a good way. She would be the one that puts the fear, your fear, in your face to deal with it right then and there. Stand still, be scared, and then break through it. And it is known in yoga that when you break through your fears, you become awesome. So she was also considered the awesome goddess. I hope to get back to that one day. I hope to get to it one day. I held it back. I hid it. I suppressed it. I ain't on it. And we can get to that another day too. But it's coming back now. And I see, I see, I see. I see. And like Indigo said, this feminine energy, it is shifting. And I'm not taking no shit. Woo! 43 minutes. Can we make it to 45? I hope you guys lasted long enough. I think that's enough for me for now. I hope I didn't offend nobody too much. Please let me know if I'm wrong in anything I have said. I'd like to be open about it. And if I do decide to cuss you out anyway because a particular person would like to respond, may I do it without screaming or yelling. This is day four for me, and I would love to make it to day five. Oh, and I did yell watching that live, honey. Just for three words. Fuck out of here. Yeah, I'm not resetting. Keep it pushing. Here we come with day five, baby. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, y'all. I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it and all. 
Now that you know me a little bit better. I don't know. Half y'all crazy. I just don't want to be these crazy people. Please let me know. That, hey, that's why I say let me know if I'm wrong. Because I don't want to end up like these crazy people out here, okay? Like I said in another video, I don't want to be Fugazi. I'm too busy looking at who Fugazi out here. Let me know if I end up Fugazi. Please. Please. I don't care who you pray to. Please on all of their name. All of them. Don't make me be Fugazi. Let me know. Thank you kindly. And now have a good night.